Yes, welcome to the third part of my president presentation of evidences on Ron's disappearance in 1972. The next part I want to show are the many books published by the church called the El Ron Hubbard series where they showed different aspects of his life. I will first show you, give you a short overview about all these books. Some are quite interesting and valuable to have and read. And then finally I will go deeper into one of these books. Someone objects that this could be a promotional piece by the church and for the products of David Miskevich. I want to tell you they, these books were not done by David Miskevich, they were done by Scientologists, upstate Scientologists in the church. and. Although you only see the only being on the in the videos, David Miskevich, he just has presented these books to you, but of course the hard work was done by others. And now I want to go into this book because Ron was a photographer, as we know from the student. He tells us about, a lot about his study on photography. And in this book we will see that he bought every year a new camera and made photos of himself. Today we say selfies. A selfie not only from him, but from him and his camera. I will show you the whole book. Leave no page out. This is done and published originally 1999 and the newest version 2012. Ron, the photographer. Also this time organized in chronological order. His first frames in chapter one. Ron as a photographer as a child, 1919. So he was just eight years old when he had his first camera, a Kodak Brown. his travels by doing professional photographs, publishing these in National Geographic, 1930. China, 1928. 
China's Great Wall, 1928. He sold this photograph. 28. Great Wall of China. Even as a pilot, he had his camera. And these were complicated and heavy things in that time. And in the Caribbean, 1932, Puerto Rico, 32, 1940, Alaska, 1940, Alaska, and now the formative years of Scientology, 57, in London. L. Ron Hammett and his camera, 53. L. Ron Hubbard and his camera, 61. L. Ron Hubbard and his camera, 65. Elron Hubbard and his camera in 64. Elron Hubbard and his camera 65. And another one. LH and his camera 65. LH and his camera. LH and his camera. 65, 65. Just his camera, but here the same camera, LH and his camera 64. LH and his camera 64. His camera, LH and his camera, self portrait. A selfie, 65, 66, 59, 65, LH and his camera, 65, LH and his camera, 65, Gran Canaria, Island. Grand Canary Island. LH and his camera 65. LH and his camera 68. LH 72. On the Apollo 72 on the Apollo LH and his camera LH and his camera 75 in Curaçao can you recognize LH Siolet I cannot verify this Jamaica 75. Is this LRH? And this looks very photoshopped. Curaçao 75. LH and his camera. LH and his camera 75 Curaçao. I have a separate article on this. On my blog you find it blog dot scientology nineteen seventy two dot org 
And there I prove that this is photoshopped. That's not an original photo. I can prove this. LH and his camera, 75, Curacao. LH should be 72. And now, no LH but his camera. LH 75 Curacao and his camera. LH 73 and his camera. The letter years. That's what we are interested in. No LH but his camera. No LH. But all these sketches, no LH, but a lot of cameras from this time. No LH, more cameras, all totally new and unused. And a big showroom with all the cameras, which are said to belong to LH, the camera room. 64 in St. Manor and no more photos by LH but I promise you there will be a last photo of his, him 1986 where you will see without doubt no 1985 a selfie, Creston, California, LH and his camera. That's it. Now we only have the appendix, glossary. So, for all the people who do not believe that LH lived up to 86. Here's the proof. It still existed in 1985 and even made a selfie of himself. Thank you for your patience and please visit my blog. I will show you the link. Bye bye.